Hello and welcome back to the Retro Break podcast. I actually forgot I already recorded this episode, so I'll do this intro here and then I'll play the audio that I recorded about two weeks ago now, back when I first started streaming on Twitch. But before I do, I have a few more thoughts and opinions on what Twitch has become since then for me. So bear in mind that the podcast that you're about to hear was actually recorded before I was an affiliate and I actually just did my first affiliate stream and I got two subscriptions both from people I know but it's still really amazing that that is an option already and I'm just really loving everything so far so enjoy this podcast episode. I do apologize in advance about the background noise. I actually recorded this while I was walking to my office and I had about a spare hour so enjoy the episode anyway and thank you all so much for listening and i'll be back with more regular episodes very soon enjoy i apologize again if the sound is a little bit noisy but i've got basically an hour's walk now to get to the office where i'm going for my new job so i thought why not take that time to make a new episode of the podcast and you can have a look at this very long straight road that i'm going down for the next hour so uh, what i decided to talk about today in this episode is actually twitch And the fact that I'm pretty amazed with how much I'm actually enjoying streaming on Twitch. I never really thought I would enjoy it that much, but I've been really blown away with the support. And I actually enjoyed playing the games a lot more than I thought I would, to be honest. I used to do Let's Plays in the past, many, many years ago. And I always thought, I don't really have the energy to talk to people live on Twitch or anything like that. But when I got started, it almost felt like second nature. And everyone in the chat has been so helpful, so kind, so, like, encouraging of me to try and do my best. And I've actually been thinking of some more games that I want to play on there as well. I've nearly reached affiliate status, so I think that means that people can donate to me soon. Or maybe I'll get adverts on there and get a little bit of ad revenue that way. So I'm not entirely sure what that means, but hopefully by the end of this month, I'll actually have affiliate and be able to... Do whatever that allows me to do extra, maybe. And as for the games that I want to play, of course, I've been playing through the Sonic Origins collection, which I've been really enjoying. Even though I did really struggle at the end of Sonic 2 a lot more than I thought I would. But even so, I really enjoyed playing that, and everyone was so excited when I beat the final boss. And that, that I think that moment is what made me think, yeah, I want to do streaming more, because that was really fun. And just the reaction of everyone at the end of that, just going, I was here for this. It was so exciting. So yeah, I'm going to play through the rest of the Sonic games on stream. Maybe go into some of the 3D Sonic games as well. I would love to play Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 on there at some point. And maybe even some of the games that don't really have the best reputation. But I would still like to play them. So maybe I'll I'll even give Sonic 06 a play on stream at one point. People might enjoy seeing that. Um, yeah, as well as that, I started playing the Klonoa collection too, and I've been really enjoying the Klonoa collection. I finished the first game already, and maybe tonight, when I get home from work, if I get back at a reasonable time, it has taken me a lot longer to get here than I thought it would, but if I get back at a reasonable time, I might play Klonoa 2 on the Fantasy Revier series, I think it's called. It's got a weird name. But yeah, I might, I might end up playing that later, and I'm hoping to go and play all of the other Klonoa games as well for the retrospective that I'm working on. So that should be really fun. And as well as that, I've got a load of other plans. I don't really want to give them all away here, but I just wanted to make this episode and say how much I've been enjoying actually streaming on Twitch. And hopefully I can keep it up and make it into a regular thing. But the thing is, I don't really know that much about Twitch or about other retro gaming streamers. So if anyone knows any, let me know over on Discord or over on Twitter and I can go and give them a follow because at the end of one of my streams, uh, people were telling me to go and raid someone and I was looking through, basically on Twitch, if you go on the dashboard, there's a raid button and that sends all of your viewers over to someone else's channel. But there wasn't really anyone to, to go and raid. I wasn't actually following any retro gamers. I was following one called Pass the Plunger and I raided him the day before. But then on this day, there wasn't anyone live who I actually knew. So please give me your recommendations for retro streamers. 
that would be really cool i would love to meet some more people in the community and talking of the community as well it just seems absolutely amazing like even more connected than than youtube retro gaming i asked on twitter for some recommendations and people sent me over loads of links to so many really cool looking streamers and they all seem so friendly and so excited to be recommended by their friends and i'm really excited to get into this community as well as the youtube community it's something that i never really thought i would want to do and it's also something that i thought should i stream on youtube or should i stream on twitch because for for the longest time i was kind of scared of moving away from youtube because i really love the platform so much but it was actually my girlfriend who suggested that i try twitch as a way of sort of diversifying what i do so I've decided to move away from YouTube a little bit. I'll still be doing my regular videos and uploading these podcasts there and stuff, of course. But I want to try some other things that are out there. And Twitch is one of those things. And I have to say that I've been really enjoying it so far. So just a quick little episode today to tell you my experiences of streaming on Twitch and how I think it's actually a lot better than I thought it would be. And I'm really surprised as well that I didn't run out of energy at all. And one of my streams was like five hours long and... Before that, I would think, like, I've got to try and entertain people for five hours. How the hell am I going to be able to do that? So the fact that I actually managed to do that and it was actually really easy and it was really hot in the room as well. It must have been close to 30 degrees and I had two fans blasting on me. But yeah, I managed to get through it okay. And I was so, like, in the zone talking to everyone on Twitch and playing all the games. I didn't even realise how hot I was getting and my girlfriend Sarah had to come in and give me an extra fan and tell me to open the window more and give me some water. So that's just how much I was enjoying it. I was just completely in the zone, not even thinking of anything else. So go and follow me over on Twitch. Unfortunately, it's Retro Break Games. Not just Retro Break because the name was already taken by someone who like streamed once like five years ago and they just don't open the usernames up, which is really frustrating. The same happened on Twitter, that's why I'm Retro Break Nick over there. But what can you do? I would love to have the same username on everything, but I just don't think it's possible. So anyway, yeah, go and follow me over on Twitch, Retro Break Games. Let me know what you thought of my streams so far. I'm also uploading the video versions on my YouTube second channel called Retro Break gameplay i think it's called so go and give me a follow over on retro break gameplay as well to watch them all if you've missed out and i'm also making highlights of all the games on twitch itself so if you go on my twitch channel you can watch uh, i think it's like recorded versions of all of the streams and that way you get the chat down the side and stuff too so when i was finding out about some of these other retro gaming streamers it really felt like i was stepping into another world outside of youtube i've been so wrapped up in the youtube community for so long i didn't even realize that there's like an entire new like sphere of gaming content creators on this platform and it was just so exciting to have a look at the links that people were sending me on twitter go and check out their channels so now i'm actually following a nice big range of people and i can't wait to get started i can't wait to make some friends over there too another reason that i wanted to start twitch and something that i think is going to do really well for both my twitch channel and my youtube channel is actually play and record all of the games that i want to actually make videos on too so i'm working on a klonoa retrospective so it makes perfect sense for me to actually go and play all of the games in the series and the way i've got the cables connected if you saw my last video on my channel which was showing off my cabling setup i can actually uh, get the output into both my Windows PC, which I'll be actually streaming on Twitch from, and on my Mac as well, which I'll be using to capture the gameplay completely separately to the stream. So I've got the VOD with me talking through and having the chat on the side of the screen, and I've also got the clean output from the HDMI cable, which just has the game audio as well, and that's going to be in perfect full 1080p as well. So it really is the best of both worlds, and usually when I'm playing games just to record the gameplay I'm not really paying 100% attention to it but I think because I'll be streaming the games on Twitch I'll actually have to focus a lot more on the game itself rather than like listening to a podcast in the background or listening to different YouTube videos while I'm playing so it will actually help me get a better understanding of the game too so hopefully that will also I'd fly away out there. Hopefully that will also improve the scripts for my videos as well. So it really does seem like a win-win from every sort of angle that I can possibly look at it. And I've also on my website now got a little app that tells people when I'm going live too. 
So if anyone happens to go to my website for whatever reason, I'm going to try and put the links out there more so more people will go over to it. They might actually see if I'm live on the site itself and watch me from there or click through to Twitch and find me that way. So I'm really looking forward to it and definitely and I really hope you're looking forward to seeing me stream more games in the future. I'm really, really enjoying it. It really does feel like stepping into another world. There's so much that I don't understand about Twitch just yet, like what all the different emotes mean, what the different words mean that people put in the chat sometimes. It's exciting though. It's like when I first started YouTube back in 2008 or 9, and everything felt fresh and exciting, and it was a really interesting place to be at the time. And I feel like Twitch is just that. I did consider streaming on YouTube as well. Thank you so much for listening. Go and check out Twitch. And now I've got to try and figure out where my office is. So I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, I'm sorry about the noise in the background. Hope it wasn't too bad for you. And if you did enjoy that and you want to check me out on Twitch, I'll put a link in the description to this podcast. And if you've got any ideas for what I can do in the future, whether that's games you want to see me stream or whether that's ideas to help build my Twitch channel and how I can integrate that more with YouTube and everything else that I'm doing too, please let me know as well. That's it for now. And like I said earlier, there'll be more regular podcast episodes coming very soon. Thank you all for listening. Goodbye.